mean, it's a guarantee. You, and by Jones the way, that's the plan. The this is meant to wipe you out. Networks. It's meant to wipe you out to then bring in the I-4. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com John has a long mustache. The chair is against the wall. There is a war. It's happening now. It will decide the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. And we are broadcasting worldwide from FEMA Region 6. FEMA Region 6 over. Thank you for joining us. So here's the deal. You can like cowards. Just stay in the matrix and keep watching your football and go along with it when they start blowing stuff up and showing dead children and saying the Liberty Movement did it. Remember they arrested Atari Militia after two years of trying to get them going to gun shows and stuff to talk about killing feds and they went, well, I guess, they go, well, if the UN takes over, the FBI is just going and starts killing people, what do we do? And he goes, I guess we'll have to organize and defend America. We'll have to fight back. And the FBI arrested them for saying if the UN comes in and if they're set up FEMA operations and start putting people in FEMA camps and killing them, what do we have to do? Well, I guess we'll have to fight back. Why do you keep asking me that? I just hope it doesn't get there. And then they wanted to put those people in jail. I mean, I'll say that. I'm not going to a FEMA camp. I'm not putting up. You're not going to teach my five-year-old how to have anal sex. I'm sorry, you pervert scum. It's over. And I want to tell the police and everybody else that are on power trips, 
I'm not saying all the police, but the ones that have been trained that you're God, you're going to find out who God is, and it's called reality. If the Civil War starts and 1% of the 170 million it's grown, gun owners fights back, that is 1.7 million combatants. And most of them are former military who know they've been DU'd, know they've been screwed over, shot up. Man, they're just, they don't want, let me, well, some of them want to kill people, and you know that. And a lot of them don't want to do it, but once they start, man, I mean, whoo, whoa. I mean, you idiots take somebody like me out or Ron Paul or start arresting folks. I mean, you're going to be dead. And, I, and, I, and by the way, listen to me. I don't look forward to that. I don't want you to die. I want you to live old. And I want you to have long days, pleasant nights, and live long and prosper. But let me, as Spock says, well, let me tell you something. This is the ultimate globalist plan, and it is on the drawing board on record. And I've confirmed this with top-level brass. Most of them have been purged, but the point is that they do, they think they can win a civil war, and they've done the computer war games, and they think they know, they're incredibly wrong, they think there'll be a year to two war, breakdown of a lot of essential services, they're going to harden the main cities, they're already doing that, and then kind of have a war against the rural areas, and then pose as saviors and create a ratting out process, kind of turning all of America into a giant re-education camp, and then they plan to release soft plagues, to debilitate folks, it's already going on. It's going to be bad. I mean, and by the way, they're going to go for broke. And the military and police that work with them will be given real inoculations that are going to protect you and your family from what's released. But when they're telling you, oh, sorry, the general public can't have it because there's not enough, remember that's a soft kill during the Civil War. The Civil War will be accompanied with bioweapons. I want you to understand that, okay? And, and it's, it's, it's just unbelievable. And a lot of military and police are going to go along with it just so they get the, get the treatments. They've thought all this out. I just, and I don't even like talking about this on air. And believe me, the NSA is freaking out right now that I just said that on air. Let me continue. By the grace of God, am I still alive here? And they're not ready to start the Civil War yet. Now, I've told the story a lot of times about deer hunt when I was a kid. We see a good-sized buck come out chasing some dough, and my dad would say, you know what, wait, wait, there's going to be a bigger one if you want a trophy, usually coming out in about a minute or two. He'll let that young, dumb one come out. He's watching, and then he said, get your guns up, get ready, and then here would come a big buck running right out after the other one. That's the same deal. They don't want to take me down until they are ready to take the whole deal down. Here's how it'll work. City gets nuked. They say Liberty Movement does it. I will be hit simultaneously or right before they do that. You'll never even hear I've been taken out. You just won't hear about me anymore. It'll be simultaneous or right before. They rolled a bunch of their fake terror networks right before 9-11. The day before, September 10th, into the 11th, they were already rolling them up to keep their mouth shut that they knew it was really an inside job. They were rolling up any witnesses the day before. Well, it goes the same for resistance. Ron Paul will either be told, shut up or you're dead. They're not going to trust him. He'll have a stroke or a heart attack, or the gas man you'll hear is blown up at his house. I'll be dead. Um, they'll send in their best Merc hit teams up front, and they will kill people like Judge Napolitano, you name it. Anybody they see as a leader, anybody they think can resist and organize people. Then they're going to roll out in phase two preachers and local leaders and authors and everybody they always had a score with. They're, they're going to go after everybody. They're going to go into the Libertarian Party and other groups and say, look, you get with the program and do what we say, or, or you're going to be arrested as well. For connection to the nuking of X city. Then the bioweapon, it's like, oh, the illness, it's, you know, it's spreading. It's, it'll kill a couple million probably in the first couple months. The fear, but don't worry, we're trying to get the vaccine. It's the people that didn't take the vaccine. They caused this to, the whooping cough to mutate. Something like that. And, and, and that's why it's killing everyone, this super pneumonia. It's the fault of the non-vaccinators. They're the reason Trishon 7 is, you know, out or whatever, and our scientists have proven it. And then it's just going to be hell on earth. And I would guess, because enough people know the game plan, I, I, I would say a third of the police in the U.S. will be killed in the first year. And I would say you'll have, it'll be like, it'll be like World War II level. You'll have hundreds of thousands of U.S. military will be wiped out, which is great. The globalists love that. It'll be terrible for those of us that care about the military. 
Uh, and then they'll bring in the stabilization force, Canada, Mexico first, it's, it's on paper, to help during the attack. I mean, thank God they were here to help. And then the, the European trips are going to pour in. Then the UN trips, the whole nine yards. I mean, it is just going to be Saudi Arabia and Pakistani, whole world ganged up. Chinese are going to land in California. Troop carrying ships, they've already been given the whole, the whole Pacific. They've already been given the entire Caribbean all pre-placed on record. And, and we're going to face a million chai -coms. I mean, It's just unbelievable how horrible it's going to be. And all of you, see, you just got organic war gaming right there. I mean, and that's, by the way, that's the plan. But first, they want to wipe out the military police in the first year, in the first wave, and identify who won't play ball. So go ahead, play ball. Get your vaccine. You're being watched the whole time. You will be absorbed down the road. And it's going to be hot cotton for you guys for a while, though. Raping, pillaging, killing, all you bad guys that work for the system, you're going to have a lot of fun. Except all the former Special Forces people are going to be killing you 24-7. And that's another thing you've got to understand is the minute, the minute the nuke detonates or you hear a bioweapon has been released in New York and people are dying in like 12 hours, the minute you hear that, and you, it may be some false alarms, you've got to bug out immediately. No cell phone tracker communications, you know that. You've got to immediately pull out because when they wipe out people like myself, they're then going to wipe out former military leaders. They're going to wipe out special forces type commanders who they're afraid, who they've been tracking, that they know could lead a resistance. So let me go over this for you. They're going to go after media leadership, military leadership. They're going to have a congressional leadership. They're going to kill people in Congress. They're going to kill and, and arrest members of the media. And it, it, it's, it's going to be bad. And uh, hey, you know, this is what's got to happen. It's what's got to happen. Just know this. We've got the jump on them big time because of all the human intelligence we've had for 50 years of the Patriots. They, they wanted to try this stuff in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. They've tried it over and over again. But I'm here to tell you, it looks like they're getting ready to try it. I've this, is, this is the biggest attack formation we've ever seen. And they are, look like they're going live with this. Now, all I'm telling you is just get ready. And believe me, you may think you've served the system your whole life. They've already got your psychological profile. They know you're not evil. If you're not evil, they're going to kill you. Do you understand that? It's like oil and water, folks. It don't mix. You understand that? So you want to be part of something really evil, all of you that like evil? You're going to really get a big taste of it, just like Germany did. 20 million dead at the end of that little, little escapade over five years. I mean, you want front row tickets to Armageddon? You're going to get them. Hardcore communist, collectivist, socialist, run by foreign banks, having their way. They want pure power to line up and torture and kill whoever they want. And they've got all their collaborators at every major city. And I would just tell people this. Use your brain. The police and military, even if they're brainwashed and even if they're firing on you, you want to stay out of their way. Remember who collaborated politically, economically, culturally. Remember who collaborated, who runs things. Who runs things? That's, that's the enemy. Now, also, another sign, you're going to see top people fleeing the country right before this happens. And they've already been doing it for a while because they're so jittery when they've been letting on these plans. And by the way, these mayors that are in meetings with Bloomberg, they're going, you're really registering to take them? And they're all, yes, we are. <laughs> I mean, those mayors, are going, I, was for, I was for registering to actually try to stop crime. You're going, I'm not going to be part of this. 50 mayors just exited. F 50 mayors. See, folks, I've told you I've held back information for years. But now's the time for you to really start hearing what I think is really going on. And unfortunately, it is what's going on. I'm not wrong. This is not my opinion. I have 95% of the data confirming everything I've said. The puzzle's almost put together here. That's why I just get absolute chills every time I think about it and act so wild on air. Because this, this for me, is just like absolutely risking my life, putting myself completely out there against this enemy. And I've studied this enemy so much. I know this enemy. And, and it just makes me sick to think about what they're going to do to people once they get control. And so I try to just get aggressive and angry instead of crying, folks, because, my God, this evil we're facing is just unbelievable. There it is. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors bailed over gun confiscation agenda. 
I would say that's a good headline, but it's just so horrible. There's no way to describe it properly. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors uh, 